My name is Owen Atkinson from Dairy Veterinary Consultancy. I've been asked here today to talk about room and fill scoring by Elanco as part of their focus on transition cow management. Room and fill scoring is a five point scale. One, two, three, four and five. One is very empty, five is very full. We look on the left hand side of the cow because that's where the rumen is. And we're focusing on this area here, behind the last rib, beneath the transverse process, also known as the short ribs, and in front of the hook bone, where a band of muscle can be seen running forwards and downwards. This is the area. A score one cow has a deep depression behind the last rib. The area under the transverse process depresses inwards by a hand's width or more. This band of muscle beneath the hook bone runs vertically downwards, giving a rectangular appearance to this space. A score one cow hasn't eaten anything very significant in the last 24 hours or so and signifies a very empty cow which is undesirable at any stage of lactation. A score two cow has a distinct triangle in this area, made up by uh, the last rib at the front, the transverse process, also known as, as the short ribs, at the top, and a very clear band of muscle running forwards from the hook bone down here. The area beneath the transverse processes depresses inwards by about half to one hand's width before going vertically down and only by feeling the rumen can you tell that the rumen is there. A score two cow has eaten very little in the last 24 hours. It is undesirable. Because there is a very obvious triangle there, we also refer to it as the danger triangle. It may be apparent in a very fresh car carved cow in the first week or so of lactation, but should never be seen in pre-carving cows or dry cows. A score three cow is like this cow here. We can still see a faint triangle made up of the border of the last rib, the short ribs at the top or the transverse process, and this band of muscle which can still be seen but more faintly running forwards and downwards from the hook bone. But with a score three cow, the skin under the transverse process runs vertically down or only very slightly in before bulging out and you can see the rumen in this triangle area. A score three cow is the target score for lactating cows but signifies uh, a two empty rumen for a pre-carving cow coming up to the uh, last few weeks of the dry period. This cow is an early lactation cow and is a score three cow. Score four is our target, minimum target, for pre-carving cows uh, in the last three to four weeks of the dry period. With a score four cow, this triangular area is only very faintly seen. This band of muscle can't be seen running uh, forwards and downwards from the hook bone. The skin beneath the transverse processes uh, doesn't go vertically down, but continues uh, outwards and so the rumen can be seen in this area behind the last rib. That is a score four cow, which is the target minimum for our dry cows, coming up to the last three to four weeks um, before calving. A score five cow has no depression behind the last rib, no depression under the transverse process, and there is no band of muscle can be seen um, running forwards from the hook bone. The skin, uh, beneath the transverse process continues to bulge out, filled by the rumen. A score five cow is also a suitable target for cows pre-carving. And it signifies a cow that is very heavily pregnant and also eaten well. The importance of rumen fill scoring in the transition cow period in the run-up to carving is very much to ensure that the dry cows are having high enough dry matter intakes we know that is a key success factor for the transition period. Remember that cows in the three to four weeks before calving will have a very full abdomen because of the pregnant uterus. If this was a dry cow in the last three to four weeks before calving, 
it would signify that she hadn't eaten enough. It is very rare that a cow that is heavily pregnant with a full uterus ever has a rumen fill score below three. Our target is score four or five, which signifies significant dry matter intake or sufficient dry matter intake in the run-up before calving.